Democrat Tim Ryan is starting to show how desperate he is. Welcome to another installment of the Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Firearms LLC. PAN Firearms for NRA certification and multifaceted gun training. You can reach us at 203-300-6343 or use our website at www.panfirearmsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box below. And let's talk about this. As we know, tomorrow, because today is uh, November 7th, tomorrow, November 8th, we're going to vote and once again, I'm not making this video to tell you who to go vote for, for somebody runs to the YouTube moderators. But what I am gonna talk about is this ad that Tim Ryan put out, where in my opinion, he seems to be trying to play up to the pro-gun crowd. Let's go ahead and watch this first. Democrat. Heard that and you saw that. Now immediately, as an NRA instructor, and somebody's been shooting a long time, there are a number of things in that video that didn't wash well with me. But I'm gonna discuss that later because I'm gonna jump into this here at the Western Journal. Commentary, candidate from the gun control party fires pistol in campaign ad, real shooters immediately notice the problem. A Democrat Senate candidate is playing the role of conservative Second Amendment shooter supporter in a new campaign video, but it didn't take long for gun rights activists to notice a significant flaw in his acting. Ohio Senator nominee Tim Ryan released a video of himself shooting a handgun at an outdoor range on Friday. You can basically, you saw the video. And then he put out this tweet. Not bad for a Democrat. And immediately, gun owners rush to point out <laughs> the, his poor shooting form, which is one of a couple of things I'm gonna talk about in response to the video. And in one person, you see the tweet here, all you showed us, you clearly aren't a proficient shooter, no doubt. Another Twitter user likens Ryan's stance to that of a child shooting for the first time. And you see the tweet here, properly stored, that's up to you. That was a response to another person who said, something about storing firearms. Law-abiding citizens obtain their firearms legally and use them illegally. What weapons of war? But then, nice shooting dude had the stance of a child shooting for the first time. Doubt he even hit a target like that. Then the National Rifle Association jumped in <laughs> and offered Ryan some elementary shooting training in response to the stage gesture. And then there are bullet points, symptoms, awful grip stance and grouping, diagnosis, diagnosis like it never shot a gun before, treatment, NRA firearms training. And they go on to say NRA's 125,000 instructors train over a million people every year. Learn from the best. They had to get that little plug in there, but that's great. But then we go back to this article. Admittedly, not every civilian gun owner needs to operate a handgun as if they were a Navy SEAL. Ryan at least knows how to avoid crossing his thumbs behind a slide and keep the weapon pointed down range as far as we can tell from the video but his stance does have noticeable flaws. Exactly. His stance is kind of a isosceles weaver bastardization that doesn't make sense. And also, notice how he's leaning back away from the gun. That's a, that's a novice shooter trying to anticipate the recoil by leaning away from it. One thing I tell all my students when it comes to stance, one, make sure your shoulders are ahead of your hips. Get behind the gun. Get behind it. That's the best way to control recoil. Leaning back is actually detrimental to you because when the gun fires and recoils, you're already leaning back and the gun flips up, you're already off balance. But the progressive congressman leans back in anticipation of recoil from a handgun that's probably chambered in nine millimeter 45. Shooters are supposed to leverage their body weight against recoil, but Ryan almost seems to be expecting the blowback of a 44 Magnum or a rifle cartridge. Not that you lean back like he is if you were firing a high caliber weapon because it'll knock you on your butt. Okay. His grouping is far from tight, even as he brags about his shooting. Most handgun owners 
with a modicum of practice could do much better from that distance with man sized targets. And that's another thing I want to talk about. His grouping sucked at that distance. That's, you know, that's somebody who just doesn't have much time with a firearm. Guys, trigger squeeze is seemingly being performed at the first joint of his index finger. Anyone who shoots enough knows that you use the meat of your finger, not the joints. If anything, Ryan's uncomfortable reaction to the range day seems to suggest he doesn't go shooting often. No, he went there for that political stunt. And here comes the interesting part, and this is why I say it's a political stunt. Oh, and by the way, Ryan supports banning semi-automatic rifles like AR-15. No wonder he had to round up a few token bearded guys to make it look like he's a gun rights supporter. That kind of a coastal elitist Democrat extremism doesn't play well in states like Ohio. Okay. Okay. So, you saw that and you read there. And obviously, Ryan is pandering. He's pandering to the gun community because, well, you got to remember, as he's out there shooting this gun saying, not bad for a Democrat, he also said this. Ohio Congressman Tim Ryan is not holding back when it comes to gun control. Today, he demanded lawmakers in Washington take action and now. Valley Congressman and presidential candidate Tim Ryan doesn't seem to have lost any of the anger he displayed over the weekend. There's dead people in Dayton because this country has failed to keep weapons of war out of the hands of people who shouldn't have them. So, he's not pro-gun in no way, shape, or form. He made a point of saying that he owned the gun. You know, at one point, he owns firearms. Yeah, you're just some guy who owns a gun. I am not a gun knucklehead or nut or amosexual or anything like that. I cherish freedom more than anything else. And firearms ownership, I feel, is the pinnacle of that freedom. Where the state or the country allows you to own a firearm. This shouldn't be about allowing, but there was a great book written by a guy and I, I, I will pull it up and put it behind me where he, he basically, uh, Unintended Consequences is the name of the book. It's written in the 80s or 70s, if I'm not mistaken. And it's about an armed uprising in the United States. Great book, it's a trilogy of books, but great book. And he said in the foreword that a government that doesn't trust their people with firearms is a government that doesn't trust their people. And it couldn't nail it on the head any better than that. But going back to Tim Ryan and this move, if you haven't noticed the polls, he's tight. That, that race in Ohio is on borderline a toss up. And this is his move out of desperation to try to pander to some, to people maybe on the fence who may be gun owners. And that's all this is. Because looking at the way he shot that gun and his stance and everything else involved, he does not look like somebody who shoots on a regular basis. But don't forget to vote tomorrow. Once again, I'm not telling you who to vote for, but I vote my interest, always. And, you know, sitting at home saying, well, I don't like either candidate is, I'm sorry, is a bad excuse. But tomorrow is a it's going to be a telling day because the outcome really is a referendum on what is going on in this country right now over the last two years. But let me know what you think. As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence or statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.